We'll be looking at acceleration with constant force. With, in an earlier lab, you calculated the velocity based on the change in x versus the change in time. For this one, we're going to be looking at the acceleration. In this case, since it's a constant force, we'll be seeing a constant acceleration as well, since it's directly proportional to acceleration and mass. Um, similar to this, we notice that it's the change in time, uh, velocity with respect to the change in time. So, and for this experiment, your equipment is as follows. Like usual, you have the glider track with the bellows. That makes it frictionless. Make sure that the bellow is turned on the entire time. You also have the glider car which in this case has a hook on it. So, obviously, the hook attached to the string here, running through a hole on the side and over, which is attached to a weight hanger. This weight hanger is five grams. You can take that as a given, or you can weigh it on the balance. With this, you also put the weights on. They're also stamped with the weight, or if you're unsure, you can weigh them as well. So, in addition, we also have this bumper here. That's to make sure the glider car isn't damaged. So, for one entire run, we basically uh, set the force that is accelerating the glider. In doing so, we take the 5 gram weight hanger, place a weight on it. In this case, it's 50 grams. So, for our hanging weight, we need to record 55 grams, not 50. For, in addition, we need to add some weight to the glider itself. This essentially acts as retarding mass, so we load that evenly. In this particular case, each one of these weights is about 100 grams, so the glider alone plus the weights is probably about 280 grams to 300 grams total in this configuration. Finally, there are a couple of little uh, nuances to this experiment. We're trying to reduce friction, so we want this string to not rub on the, on the pulley. We want the pulley lined up as well as we can so that it's not at an angle. And finally, we want as few knots as possible in the string. So, this is essentially how we do the experiment. We begin by turning on the bellows if they're not already on and releasing.